back. This is one that I've been asked to do a few times, but I'm only just getting round to do it. So I thought today we would do a Starbucks try-in. Now, I've never had Starbucks before. You have, haven't you? But I only have. recently, isn't it? Just while I've been out on the road, yeah. Darren has had one of the hot drinks that he's asked me to get. What I've done is I've seen all over Pinterest about um, Starbucks' secret menu. So I've done two secret menu and two just hot drinks off the regular menu. Um, the four drinks in total has come to 15 20 which I don't think is a too bad a price because when we did it with Costa, we did the four drinks with Costa and I'm sure that came to 17 quid. So oh, it's, right, yeah. it's, it's comparable to Costa. I have done tall which is their small i don't get the sizing on it tall is a small grand is a medium and a venti is a big why not just small medium and large my brain does not cope with anything out of the unusual so that's thrown me straight away but with all i've got is i've got a classic hot chocolate just because i love hot chocolate and i want to see how theirs compare to costa I am a Costa girl, I'm not going to lie, but after this, who knows, I might be a Starbucks girl. I like the Starbucks um, cups, although he's annoyed me because he's wrote on the back, so I'm not impressed with that. So I've got a honeycomb macchiato, I've got a classic hot chocolate, I've got a mint, um, mint chop chip frappuccino, and I've got a, supposed to be a red velvet, but it doesn't look anything, oh, that's the red velvet. It doesn't look anything like what it did on Pinterest. I will put the recipes on Pinterest so you can see what I was supposed to have. Um, so what do you want to try first? Whatever you want, just go you, for it. You've tried the honeycomb before, haven't you? So we are prepared with our straws. We don't like paper ones. So we're prepared with our straws and we're going to go. I'm going to try, I think this is the honeycomb one. Looks it. I like, yeah it is, I like the cup. I'm a gimmick, not a gimmick girl, I'm a, I'm a sucker for cups and things. So the fact that they've actually given me two different cups has won me over Costa straight away. So this is the honeycomb macchiato. It's supposed to be like crunchy drinking a crunchy yeah. do i need to mix it uh, not that i'm aware of did you mix yours no do i need to put sugar in it no oh so it's got quite a frothy top quite a frothy top to it oh you can smell the honeycomb mm. yeah i think i'm gonna like it because i do like crunchy but let's put that back on so it keeps it warm-ish. I'm not getting the honeycomb. Not to start off with. When I had it, I didn't really get the honeycomb till right near the end. Right, get me a spoon. Just use one of the straws. Don't need a spoon. That's what the straws are there for. That's for does uh, does have a very velvety smooth texture to mm. it. I'm getting the honeycomb off that. <laughs> Use the straw. I'm not using a straw to drink hot chocolate. Why I want not? coffee. Why not? No. I will. Yeah. Half a cup. I don't know. It's definitely a hot chocolate. Supposed to have had whipped cream on the top. Costa, you at uh, Starbucks, you're failing me. I'm still, still not getting much of the honeycomb yet. It's nice. It's a coffee. Well, it's a macchiato. Just a basic hot chocolate. Mm. I don't want a straw. Oh, just. I don't want a straw. Just drink it. Drink it, woman. I don't want a straw. <laughs> don't drink hot drinks with a straw. Don't try and make out your posh. You're from Nottingham, mate. Not trying to make out and posh. Yeah. Basic. Hot chocolate. 
good. The only thing that's failed it with that is there's no whipped cream in the top. So this one's supposed to be red velvet. So it's supposed to be a half white mocha, not half regular mocha. Um, I think it's two pumps of syrup, raspberry syrup, and then blended and something else. I will put the recipe up that I got from Pinterest. So, and whipped cream on the top. Oh, oh, that is very thick. Is it? Very thick. I'm, I'm imagining it's going to be like a Black Forest Frostino because of the raspberry oh. and the mocha. Oh my God. Nice. Oh my God. I think that's a yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's not got the... It's not got the thickness of the Frostinos. It is a lot more blended, but maybe that's because it's melted in the car on the way back. That's good. That's really good. Is it? Mmm. Raspberry. Oh, it's got a really nice aftertaste as well. Quite sweet. Mmm. Similar to the Black Forest Frostino, in it. Yeah, but obviously this is raspberry. Mm. Black Forest is cherry. Mm. But it's got that. It's not got. It's. It is more liquidy than I thought it was going to be. Mm. The bloke in. Uh, I keep wanting to say Costa, and I do apologise, Starbucks. The bloke in Starbucks looked at me, gone out when I was asking for these and I did have to explain that they were off the secret menu which I thought he should have known once I said that but I don't know if he was new or what but he, he looked at me like I was speaking Martian at him when I asked for these Might be an American thing this secret menu I don't know I think it is more an American thing but hey so this is supposed to be a mint choc, ooh, 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 I can feel it already. This is supposed to be a mint choc chip frappuccino. This is the um, mint choc chip, I'm just getting the recipe. So it's a peppermint choc chip frappuccino. So it's a vanilla bean frappuccino. Now when I asked for vanilla bean, I don't know if that's an American thing, but he said it was vanilla cream. But obviously I got vanilla bean off um, Pinterest with one pump of peppermint syrup and three scoops of java chips so i will put a picture up of what it was meant to look like um what it does look like i mean to be honest it, it does look pretty much as it does on pinterest so um let me try another nice one I think I'm, I'm getting to a point where I prefer like frappuccinos and colder ones than hot drinks at the minute mm. I mean don't get me wrong I love a coffee in the morning but just I'm loving the colder ones like, I loved having them Black Forest ones over Christmas so try that Maybe could do with being a little bit more minty for me, but that was the recipe that I found for a tall. But then if you put more mint in, it might be a bit sickly. No, that's minty enough, that is. Mm. So yeah, this is supposed to be a red velvet. Yeah, so half mocha, half white mocha, one scoop, one uh, thing of raspberry, whipped and cream on top. So, I wonder if you can get that off just so you can keep the cup. <laughs> you could buy colour changing cups while you were in there, and to be fair, they were quite reasonable. They're only About two quid, I think, aren't they? Three. Three. Three quid for that big colour changing mm. one. But I thought, as I'd never tried um, Starbucks before, I didn't want to commit fully. Although spending 15 quid is committing fully. I, I am pleasantly surprised. It's it's definitely not Costa, but I like how you can 
find all the different recipes. Now I don't know if you can do that with Costa. It's not something I've ever I don't know. looked I've not, at. <clears throat> I've not really looked at myself. No, but I know I've seen a lot of YouTubers I've watched um all love the Starbucks and the fact you can sort of custom make them to what you want and it's just finding what works for you. I like the hot chocolate but it's a hot chocolate at the end of the day but I wanted to see what their hot chocolate was like compared to others that I've tried. Mix it with a honeycomb and then you've got a crunchy. <laughs> that is nice. I've still not got to the honeycomb of this yet. You will. And I like how well proportioned the sizes are. So although it is a small, it's it's a decent drink. It's not like tiggy tiny one sip and it's gone. But if these are smalls, Lar God knows. large ones are about that big. Other. Yeah. Venti, darling. A venti. Come on, get with the lingo. Why venti? I don't get it. Italian, isn't it? Is it? But why tall? Because that's clearly not tall. Tall, grand, and venti. Mm -hmm. Little, medium, big. Yeah. There you go. You've just explained it to the whole of YouTube. Yeah, I know, but why not just use simple technology? We all know I'm not the sharpest knife in the block and throw in when I was first looking at all these I can remember saying to you what the hell is venti and grand and why is it going on about so many what what the hell and it's took me ages to figure it actually out what they all mean and now you know a little bit more hmm. oh I just got a little bit of it then I think yeah you, you tend to get on that one you do tend to get more and more the further you get down mm. Because so, everything's going to the bottom. But don't matter how much you mix it up. I, did, I don't know. Like I, don't say, know. I did find it a nice smooth mm, it is. texture, especially for a coffee. Mm. I think my favourite, personally, out of all of these is the mint. But anyone who knows me knows I'm a mint girl. I like the raspberry, but I think the mint's my favourite. I've always done Costa because you get bits in that, so you're getting two in one because you get a meal and a drink. <laughs> there's chocolate and bits in it as well. Mm. I've always done Costa because there's a Costa right outside where I work. So it's easy in the morning, we just go in, go to Costa, grab a Costa and go to work. And now we're back into lockdown again. Lockdown number three. Um, I'm not working from home this time. Um, we just decided that with the kids last time the kids um didn't have school work to do we still were doing bits and bobs while we were at home but they didn't have sort of set stuff to do while they were off so we just decided this time because they are both homeschooling now that it was too it's too much for one of us to do full time yeah because we've got one upstairs on the computer upstairs one down here we are quite lucky in that we've got two devices the kids can use but we've got one upstairs, one downstairs, so we just thought it's it's too much. So we've we've just decided this time I'm not working from home. Um, so as you can imagine, I'm pulling my hair out already after three weeks of them being home. Theo's going back to school tomorrow. He's only at the reception at the school that the other two are at, so it just gives us a few hours for the boys to be able to do stuff with the boys a little bit more and plus he's bored he's only had one day at school bless him and then we went on lockdown so we just decided that uh, we he only does two and a half days a week so we just thought right well offload him onto school <laughs> and try and get a bit of sanity back for a little bit so we just stop him from uh, interrupting the boys as well while they're trying to do some work mm. It's hard because he is only three, so obviously for him, for the last year, it's it's all mm. been in chaos. So we don't really understand what's going off. He's bored and he's ready for school. We knew that before Christmas when we were sorting out him going to school after Christmas. You've babbled on enough. You best uh, wrap it up for the viewers. As usual, 
if you like my video please leave me a thumbs up please like and subscribe just because it means my videos are getting out there a bit more and more and more people are getting to see i am trying to do a bit more while we're in lockdown three so i am going to do a few more clothing uh pardon I am going to do a bit more clothing again and try and keep up again while uh, we're on lockdown. So yeah, please like, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye.